Today I'm gonna to show you how to set a default font setting in Adobe Illustrator. So let's just go ahead and dive into this because it's gonna be so helpful. Hi everyone, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer. I love to teach people how to design wedding invitations and run successful stationery and creative businesses. While you're here, I hope you'll like and subscribe and check out a ton of our other wedding invitation design and business videos. I found a video about how you can so easily change your default settings in InDesign, but we also wanna learn how to do this in Illustrator and it's not quite as easy, but you can definitely still set a font. So what I'm talking about is when you draw a text box, it automatically comes up as Myriad Pro 12 black, whatever. What if you want to change the setting? So you're gonna to wanna to find your character styles panel, which is in window type and character styles. I have it pulled up here. And then we have normal character style. So you're basically going to see here all of those things we talked about, font family, Myriad Pro, font style, regular, all of these different things. And you'll go to basic character formats and you can basically change this. So here's a font that I use a lot. I shouldn't have pressed enter there. <laughs> um, I typically use it on 12 and I typically use at least 50 tracking there. You can do a lot of other things here. Of course, there's advanced character formats. Um, you can change your color if you want it to always be red, yellow. You can change it to your branding color if you're constantly using Illustrator to create branding elements. Um, your open type features, you can always set up different stylistic alternatives, swashes, etc. In general, I don't feel like you're ever gonna want anything crazy <laughs> to be on your standard default text, but when you create a different character style, uh, you might want to do that if you're using some like fun swashy characters. I'm gonna stick with this because this is just a font I use a lot in my wedding invitations, and these are the settings that I typically use, so it would be great to have this here just as my default font setting. So now, whenever I go into Illustrator, whether it's this document or a different document, um, that normal character style is going to be all of those things that I just created. So now, whether it's this document or any document in the future, whenever I create a text box, it's going to have all of those style characteristics that I just dictated here as part of our normal character style. And of course, you can come up with other ones that you want to add here, and you can just click on them to change a paragraph to be that. So if I change this to like a different font, for instance, this is my font that I made and I make it yellow, but then I just click normal character style. It's going to go back to that default that we set up here. And that will apply to any character style that you create. I hope this video was helpful. I have tons and tons of videos showing you how to use Illustrator to design wedding invitations and things, as well as how to print, produce them and run a successful business. So I hope you'll check some of those out and you'll let me know what features of Illustrator and all the Adobe programs that you'd like me to cover in future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll give us a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.